been a little while. Sorry for leaving everybody hanging. Didn't do that on purpose, but you know, life happens and then you end up uh, not getting done what you want to get done. Anyway, today I'm going to be taking off the front and rear sway bars. I'll get into reasoning. So of course I have that little warning on the intro to my videos. Hopefully y'all seen it. This is another one of those cases of, hey, look what I'm doing. You probably shouldn't, but you can, but I didn't tell you to. But you can, but you shouldn't. So, yeah. Anyway, as far as reasoning goes, as far as why you'd want to, if you go off-roading and you flex out your truck a lot and you want some extra travel... That's one reason to do it. My reasoning, since I don't off-road the truck anymore, in theory, on-road, it should absorb bumps a little better and potholes and stuff without upsetting the whole truck. One of the problems I've had is whenever I go over a bump, uh, when the back tires hit it kind of upsets the whole truck lifts it up kicks it to the side as far as i can understand that is because of the sway bars because for those of you who don't know what they do is they kind of tie the uh left and right hand side together so if that tire hits something or dips down that one will react to try and keep tires on the ground which makes it ride more stiff but by taking them off there is potential that it is a little smoother on road downside is all the body roll which is why you shouldn't do it because that just means slob your handling and potential to actually roll your truck so i'm doing it for potential on-road benefits i'll get into driving impressions after it's done but for right now let's just get that off there so front sway bar 218 mils on that side two on that side that's where we're gonna start Same thing for the end link here, that is also an 18, both sides. Alright, so if you run into the problem where this starts spinning, throw a vice grip on it. take that off you take that off that one and that these upper things are 18s those are 15s <laughs> simple couple sockets uh, 12 bolts couple minutes and you got them both off again I don't recommend doing this if you're an idiot like me use your own discretion well, anyway we'll uh, we'll get this on the road see how it does all right impressions I'll try and keep short and sweet just went out for a drive was recording but the footage is unusable it's out of focus and very shaky you can hear me fine but i prefer not to put out bad uh visuals 
So you get to deal with staring at this. Anyway, first off, body roll, it's there. The only time it's very noticeable is if you're on the highway and you have to make some quick maneuver. You will notice it substantially. It is a little sketchy feeling. As far as around town, as far as absorbing bumps, ruts, potholes, train tracks, whatever, definitely an improvement. Significantly smoother. If it is that big of a pothole, I'm talking six inch plus as far as depth, then it will still upset the truck as far as your driving line. But as far as normal stuff, train tracks, small potholes, whatever, way better. Definitely better. Overall, I would say it was a good idea. Again, it works for me, may not work for you, don't know. Another one of those, hey, look what I did, but probably shouldn't do it yourself type things. There's a reason why they're on there, and taking them off, you know, there's the risk of rolling the truck. So, yeah, overall, I'm happy with it. Just another quick video. Felt bad for leaving y'all hanging. I'm going to try and get out as much as I can as far as content, but honestly, there's not a ton for me to talk about. So, you know, it is what it is. Until next time. So, I just wanted to add this clip in real quick before I forget, because uh, I'm about to edit this current video. So, I've been running without the sway bars now for about a week and a half, and just a little update. I like it a lot. It works really well for me. About what I was expecting, more body roll when you go hard into a corner, but other than that, just overall way smoother. So I'm probably gonna keep it this way for forever. So that's it.